Life on the airline is life in the fast lane. Excuse me, please. Let's go. Whoa! <laughs> Sometimes fun. <laughs> oh, golly gosh. Sometimes a real battle. Stress. <laughs> There's trouble at check-in. It will be well. You don't need to point at me, sir. You are the problem. You don't understand. It isn't good enough, is it? I love you, Kev! And high motion on the tarmac. So, for the best in in flight entertainment, welcome back aboard the airline. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Far Bombay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. I've gone for you to come through. Yeah, I'm on my way. OK, thanks. Thanks. Check-in supervisor Jane Bolton has a mission. In the next 24 hours, 20,000 people will pass through Luton Airport. It's Jane's job to make sure they do, provided they're on time. For the self-confessed ogre of the airport, bossiness is her business. Ten no-shows. So are you for Amsterdam? Yeah. Do you want to go back into it and I'll do this? I still got to put on my car. I hadn't realised that. We won't be able to check you in then, sir, because I've actually boarded in the right, flight not... now. Well, I need the flight. We can't, we can't check you in if you haven't parked the car because I've already started boarding. Oh, that's not good enough. Well, you're going to be here in ten minutes. Well, that's up to dispatch the guys that are in charge of the aircraft as to whether they well, okay. accept you, but I doubt it very much not at ten, in ten minutes' time. Well, it's, a four, it's 20, 20 minutes to the flight. Yes, but at 20 minutes before the flight we close okay. it and we're actually late already, that's the problem. If you are too late, we'll have to transfer you on to the next one, but we'll have to sort that out when you get what here. That? It's not until Can late. I with you? No, I can't, I can't hold anything because I'm always all over the place, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. But the next one isn't until half past two this afternoon. Oh, Christ, I need to be there. Businessman John Hill is off to park his car. He thought airport staff would do it, but he hadn't pre booked the service. Hill's going to miss it. Departures Amsterdam check ins, no way the body's so bored and he'll get on that now. He won't even be back before the flight's gone. 35,000 feet up, EasyJet's glamour flight to the French Riviera. Your speed is close. Happy. And for Captain James McBride, a favourite trip. It's one of the best airports we go to in, in some ways. We actually fly in over everybody's swimming pool and everybody's private yacht. Every time I come home, I just think to myself, I must buy more lottery tickets. So I come home from the flight and my wife says, what are you doing? I said, I'm just popping down the shop. So I come back with 10 quid worth of lottery tickets. She said, what did you do that for? I said, well, I went to Nice today and, and it looks so lovely down there in all the swimming pools. I just think to myself, well, if I won the lottery, it'd be the sort of place we'd go. Not just a glamour flight, a glamour fortnight. Over the next two weeks, EasyJet will be flying out dozens of passengers to the Cannes Film Festival. Austin Powers, Spy Who Shagged Me. Biggest party celebration of Hollywood film kicks off with a press junket and photo call and ends with an extravagant party on Palm Beach. David Cronenberg, I saw that crash film the other day, that's crap. <laughs> I'm going to tell him when I see him. Ian West and fellow photographer Doug Peters earn their keep snapping the stars, but only certain pictures will net a profit. If we can get pictures of uh, the women, they generally do go better, especially in the picture magazines, in the big picture magazines, because they like wearing the full-length dresses and they like showing all the glamour and that. And all the gentlemen just turn up in tuxedos, so they all look a bit the same. So really, for really nice dressed women is what we're looking for. So Ian wants a supermodel, and he knows how to grab their attention. There's a few people who would say that I have got quite a loud voice. Yeah, I've got the loudest voice in the world. I have probably got one of the loudest. People do like standing near me. The trouble is, when I'm shouting, I'm not concentrating, so I'm often missing the picture just because I'm still shouting for them to look at me. So. Ian's tactics have earned him a nickname. Oi, 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 oi! And even when I'm on the phone, I'll say it's oi, boy, just to make sure that people know who it is. Down on the ground, boarding's already begun for John Hill's flight. Hi, Pete, it's Jane. I don't know how far you are through the board, and I've got a male here that was um, parking the car earlier. Is there any possibility of accepting? 
I've got meetings in Amsterdam. Negative. OK, then. Thanks, anyway. I've got meetings in Amsterdam. Okay. He's in charge of the aircraft, so I only said no. I'm here. I mean, it's... He's in charge of the aircraft, so it's not Well, this is only because do. of your airport and the, the lack of valley parking. The yeah, I understand parking that, but as That's you can understand, I've done my job for you and I can't yeah, get you sorry, on that Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, is there anybody else? No. I'm huh? just checking. Can you ask him again? I've got a I'm meeting in Amsterdam. I'm not allowed to ask sorry, again, I've got, sir. I've got a meeting in Amsterdam. Yeah, but you're not listening to me. You're not flight. understanding what I'm saying. I've <sighs> rang dispatch, I've rang departures, and I've also rang the guy who's on the aircraft in charge. I would have been here in time no. if you're valet parking at this airport. I understand that, but well, you're not listening to me. I yes, I understand what you're saying. Can you ask him again? I'm please. not allowed to ask him again, sir. He said no, he said no, and that's it. There's nothing I mean, I'm here, here, I've got no baggage. I understand what you're and saying. And I've got Are meetings in, in Amsterdam. I've airport. got meetings in Amsterdam. I can't argue I've with bought with sir. these EJEPs because I've had no problems because they've always been brilliant in the past. Yeah. Even when the flight was delayed, we got a refund on the on the tickets. Yes, I can you're, understand you're that. You're preventing me I'm from saying. doing this. Right, how do I get hold of your... Uh, who's your boss? My boss, my yeah. supervisor. Well, well, how do I get hold of Stianos, the chairman of EasyJet? Stianos, well, he's Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Stelios Hagianu, EasyJet's publicity-hungry boss, oh, oh, mind your head. Oh, mind is working on his that? public image. Is that Errol? Hi, James Yeltsin. How are you doing? All right. All right. And yourself? The PR department has laid on a media photo call for their multi-millionaire chairman. This is where we can you know, get Stelios holding still. We'll get some shots of him. James, what's happening here? <laughs> sorry, to, <laughs> sorry to jump you with all this. Don't worry. We, we got Max from the Sunday Telegraph. Right, okay. You remember yeah, Will yeah. came and interviewed you a few days ago. Yeah, so yeah. Max is from there. Good. I've got a local photographer too, just to get some Harold to get some uh, Hi there. some library shots. Yeah. I'm going to miss my meetings in Amsterdam. I'm not impressed. <laughs> and I've I've flown EasyJet lots of times. I've I've always thought they were wonderful. I've stood up um, for them to people who said they're crap. I'll go with the other people now. Not... Oh, I did try. <laughs> I did tell him. John Hill has missed his flight. Now he wants his money back. Sorry, sir, we don't actually give refunds. Sorry, I want a refund. I, I was on time for my flight. flight. The arrangements at this airport were what caused the problem. Right. Unfortunately, I'm a sorry. I'm... The only thing I could do is call a supervisor and yeah, speak well, to you, but going... they're going to tell you. And they're going to tell me exactly the same thing. No one enjoys getting shouted at, but um, it's one of those things. It gets aggravating when someone just keeps going on and on and on. And you've obviously you've tried and you've explained the situation, and they won't take no for an answer. Then it does, you know, it gets to you a little bit, but you know. Right. How do I get hold of uh, the chairman of EasyJet? I'm not. He, 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 puff, he, no, he puffs himself and his airline up so much. Okay. Easy jet to forget me as a customer. Finish. Captain McBride will soon be touching down in Nice. When we tell the passengers on the on the uh, PA system what the weather's going to be like, you say, "Oh, ladies and gentlemen, and the weather's going to be," uh, and you're thinking, "Nice." Don't say nice. Say something else. And you think. And the weather's going to be nice in Nice this afternoon. You think, oh, it sounds awful, you know. But you try and think of something else. So now I think, uh, and now I come up with most agreeable. So, ladies and gentlemen, the weather is uh, most agreeable this afternoon in Nice. I think that doesn't sound right anyway, but never mind. I just hold zero to the subject profile is approach on me two four. Can you start with the spot, recall, check, speed brake, arm grid lights, landing gear, down three green, cabin is secure for landing. Touchdown in Nice where the weather is most agreeable. And Oi Boy goes off in search of a supermodel. Oh, Luton oh, oh, check-in assistant <laughs> Katrina Leader yeah, is facing a big a test. Day, right Thank you, Nivea. It's her first day back at work since being treated for cancer and since tying the knot with husband Julian. I've got a nervous feeling in my tummy. You'll be fine. To be honest, I don't think any time is going to be um, the best time for me to go back to work. You know, I'm, I'm always going to be dreading it in some way. But I think it's the best time now for me, purely because I feel I'm going to be living a normal life again. It's just got to take it slow. Um, and just take a time not burn herself out. I couldn't have hoped or got through this by just relying on the treatment, you know, really and truthfully, to have your family 
your mum and your back up and you know obviously Julian's behind you, then there's no there's no way I would have got through. She's just so strong and positive. I think without that she she couldn't do it. You know, pe people often think how they would handle it in their situation. Um, but you, you just can't imagine it. But her health worries will never go away. So I keep suffering from a bad throat. It's been going on since the beginning of December. We don't know what that is. Maybe they, they've got a feeling, maybe something on the radiotherapy has burnt something inside me to keep giving me, you know, a funny throat. I think that's all right. Since Katrina's been away, there have been some changes at Luton. I quite like the uniform. Quite nice, isn't it? Everyone's wearing EasyJet orange. And my tights too orangey. <laughs> and the calming colours seem to have been rubbing off on John Hill. It's not EasyJet's fault entirely. It's not. It, it, it's largely Luton Airport's fault for making the, the, the valet parking pre-booking only. I suppose I could have left half an hour earlier, but I'm, you know, I was up at five anyway. I'm not going to get up 4.30 for a day that's going to finish about 11 tonight. Um, that, that, that makes it a very long day. A day that's due to get even longer. John's heading to Heathrow to try his luck with another air. Liverpool Airport, EasyJet second base. Flight EZ641 to Belfast is about to depart. And takeoffs don't happen without the say so of dispatcher Kevin Reardon. But today, Kevin's got other things on his mind. A VIP look-alike on the Nice flight. It's not a Sharon Stone look-alike, is it? No. no. <laughs> you haven't seen her anywhere, have you? No. She's on this flight. Is she? Yeah, supposed I to be. I just said that, yeah. yeah. I she's next to me. <laughs> she, she got her knickers on today, though. I don't think so, no. Oh, that's she doesn't wear them in the summer. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> I know her. I haven't seen her around anywhere. I'm a little bit cynical, quite honestly, because uh, I don't even think it'll look like it, because Sharon Stone takes some beating, really, doesn't she? Sharon Stone's going to be on your flight, actually. Yeah. You'll see her. Oh, She's not yeah. as good-looking as you three, though. <laughs> In Luton, there's another flight heading for Nice. You're Claire Robertson, and I've got Lucinda Robertson. But Katrina's spotted a discrepancy, and so one unlucky passenger may not be going anywhere. I am Elvis. Oh, shit. Hello. Hi. Is your sister travelling today? Sorry? She's not travelling, no, is she? Not. No, it's not. It's my twin sister. I said she's got one. Um, can I give you... Oh, sorry. Mm. My driving licence. And whereabouts do you live? I live in the same address. I mean, is that quite, is quite that far, isn't it? Can you spare me one second while I consult my manager? Karen, I think I know the answer myself, but obviously I want to try, you know, everything I can. I've got a passenger here on the system, it's Lucinda Robertson, but her passport's Claire Robertson, and she's got a sister's passport. They're twin sisters, but. Alright, bye. Oh, I'm really sorry. I won't be able to travel, yeah, I'm so sorry. I mean, there's no way you're going to get a passport in time, are you? I'm just afraid, you, you know, you can't, you can't travel. I mean, you can't travel on a drive like that. That's, that's to be on a, your own passport. Try and think. I don't think... Do, there, is, there is today with, there is today with EasyJet, but... Where'd you it's a two-hour yeah, round trip to her home in London, but Lucinda must get to Nice tonight. I'm working there for a week, well, two weeks. Um, it's a boat show in um, San Remo, so we just walk around with a clipboard and talk to people on different yachts, so we uh, probably get sacked. <laughs> I really feel for people like that. I'm, you know, something couldn't be helped, really, could it? But Lucinda has a plan, and she's not as innocent as she looks. So the Nice flight's a passenger down. Have you had doors? Cos I've got that passenger's bag here. But it's also short of some luggage. Apparently a bag was offloaded for some keys, and I've got it here. <laughs> well, apparently some passengers asked for his bag to come off because he needed his keys. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's your bag's on its way down there, so we're going to have to get it out as quickly as possible. Can't delay the flight. OK, see ya. It's going to have to be quick. What gate are you at, please? Oh, no, I'm running. A passenger had asked for his bag to be taken off the plane in order to retrieve the keys to his hire car, and now he's gone and left the bag behind. Jane has less than two minutes to reunite them. Excuse me, please. Can I say to the aircraft, right, she's on her way or yeah, something like that? Yeah, I can see her. <laughs> Even before she started. Give it to me. Give me the bag. Where is it? Yeah, Juliet. Yeah. Yeah. A good handover, but it's still touch and go. The home straight. They've done it. A great team performance. It's just a case of us having to run like maniacs and get the bag on board, but we did it. Look, there. In Liverpool, it's not missing luggage, but a missing bunny that's the problem. Is it a live one or is it a fluffy one? It's a fluffy one, is it? And it's a white one. I'll see what we can do for you, OK? But Sharon Stone has shown up, and she's been turning heads. Uh, going over for the festival, you know, I've got some uh, things oh, to do over there and uh, hoping somebody will offer me Basic Instinct 3. It's an amazing and, resemblance. Uh, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. I only want similar one million. Legs, similar legs yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, You're looking good. You. In fact, Thanks I think you're looking much. nicer than Sharon Stone. I've got a bit of a sweat on, actually. She's nice, isn't she? Nice long legs, very tall lady. Comes over well. She's got lovely hair. She really does look like Sharon Stone. You could, I can understand people mistaking her as Sharon Stone. Yeah. And you hear the accent that she did, the New York accent. How you doing? How you doing, doing boy? Amazing. Yeah. It's uh, it's done a few things to me. And the missing bunny's been found. But he's in disgrace. Well, then. I always wanted to kiss Sharon Stone. There we go. Have a nice time. Good luck. Yeah. I'm a bit gobsmacked at the moment, quite honestly. I'm a bit stuck for words. What a beautiful lady she is. And I got a kiss off her. I'm not going to wash for at least six months now. Hazel Moraney never set out to mimic Sharon Stone. Outside a restaurant in Cannes, it just sort of happened. This whole a crowd of people came rushing up to me and shoved bits of paper at me and said, uh, come on, Sharon, Sharon, you know, give me your autograph. And I was like, it took a while for me to realise what was going on. And then Steve said, they think you're Sharon Stone. And I went, no, no, I'm Hazel from Liverpool. <laughs> a year on, and Hazel's picked Absolutely. up all the mannerisms. <laughs> Sometimes I think, gosh, it's a really silly thing to do. But then I think, well, someone rings you up and says, do you want to go to Cannes? Go to a fabulous party, drink as much champagne as you like, eat as much food. I'm not going to say, well, hell no, I'll just stay home and clean the floor, thank you, you know. <laughs> In Cannes, things are hotting up. Just four hours to go before the opening premiere, and Oi Boy is praying that his position in the pen hasn't been taken. I put the positions down yesterday, and I've been checking them since 7 o'clock this morning. I've just got to make sure that it's still there, make sure it hasn't been ripped up. And it is. Thank God for that. I've got a nice position on the front row. We had about six positions yesterday. But they were all down this side, especially underneath the cover, just in case it rained. And they've all gone. I've got no idea where they are. But out of all the ones I put down, I'd have probably gone for this one anyway, because it was the one on the front. But uh, it doesn't look as I've got much choice. <laughs> what time, when's the next flight? Eight o'clock. Lucinda should be dashing to London to get her passport. But in fact, she's been lying. She doesn't have a passport. It's time to come clean. 
um, I had my bag stolen um, last, what was it, the other day with everything in it, my passports, credit cards. Um, I've got a twin sister. Um, thought, well, they don't really look at passports, so uh, um, she looks like me, so. Um, serves me right, I suppose. But everyone said, oh, it won't be a problem, no. But, um, She's been hatching a plan. It's against the law, but she's going to wait until Katrina clocks off and then try checking in again, posing as her twin sister. I really need to get there. Um, um, I've got other identification with me, so I can't really see why it would be a problem. Anyway, I'm not a criminal, really. <laughs> Boy Boy's dressing up for the big night. His position's secured, but he's still worried about the competition. There are things that you can do, yeah, obviously, but... Uh... The French really have it sewn up out here. You know, if, if a Frenchman wants to take anything, at any position that you've got, then they'll take it. Oi, 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 oi! Jeff! Jeff, for God's sake! Jeff Goldblum. A big name, but not a supermodel. Oi! oi. What are you doing, man? Come on, get back! Get back! Get back! And him, get them both back! Just stay back! Just stay back. Just stay back. Oi, 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 oi! Stop, stop, stop! Ole! 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 Look down! Ole, turn down! Holly Hunter, great actress, but just five out of ten on Oi Boy's glamour scale. Uh, that's his daughter. Finally, he gets his wish. Not just a supermodel, but a wonder bra girl. Claudia! Claudia! Even better, Claudia Schiffer in a see through top. Claudia! Claudia, just turn around! Excuse me! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me! Excuse me. Oh, for goodness sake, get a bloody way, you bastards. Splitting her skirt goes right up. Claudia turns up in the see-through T-shirt. So the supermodels are taking the show, really, to see me. A good day for the crowds, and Oi Boy covers his costs. And if not, it's one for the bedroom wall, isn't it? So it'll do me. <laughs> John Hill swallowed his pride and has flown with EasyJet since missing his flight. Oi Boy's picture of Claudia appeared in seven magazines and Lucinda finally made it to Nice. Check it in customs, none the wiser. Next week, kids behaving well, men behaving badly.